video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. Hello there, folks. Welcome to another Coral Blade Grotto broadcast, another reaction video. And this one comes from the uh, Volusia Sheriff's Office in Florida. And it happened on November 11th, 2023, so not too long ago. And the reason why I'm uh, doing this one is because the grammar on the documents contained in this video are very familiar. The grammar is familiar, that is. And by the way, I just want to say that this uh, video was sent to me by a former student of mine, not someone that I'm in contact with, but someone that I do respect, I do honor, and his correct name is Colon Man, comma space Michael. We don't always get along, but I think we both have an understand, a mutual understanding and respect uh, for our positions. And so, much honor to you, colon man, comma space Michael. Thank you for sending me this, because I think you knew, I think you knew in the back of your mind that this is what would happen when, uh, when I looked at it. So I can get a, chuck out, a chuckle out of it, and I'm sure man Michael is also chuckling because we have the same sense of humor when it comes to this particular milieu all right so let's uh let's get into it it's gonna be a howling and catalina uh, it's a blue ford chart displaying some kind of sovereign citizen looking tag can you throw us a check it please i think it says post the union treaty Okay, folks, this is the beginning of, of what I'm talking about. Look at the grammar on this on this plate. That is a 1 by 1.9 flag, but it doesn't mean anything because there is no correct grammar on the plate. The 1 by 1.9 Title IV flag is the flag of the land during the time of the contract, the correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, flag. However, there is no correct grammar here. Starting with this colon and this massive space in between the colon and global. Every correct sentence structure, whether it's a title, a name, or a sentence, must start with for the, which means the, the G and global will be close up against that colon, but it's not. But it's not. So this means of the Global Postal Union Treaty, and that negates the positional sequencing, the concatenation, and therefore it is not correct sentence structure. Not to mention, there is a particle of negation in the fact the U before the N, which vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of the word means no, and also UN means no. An ion, ion is contract, so it means no contract. So this is a global postal no contract treaty. It says nothing. <laughs> okay, now 
geez, don't even let me get into this number here. You have the same mistake with the colon, on the space and an RF. Why isn't there a tilde in front of the RF? And why are there tildes in between these numbers? A tilde denotes a location, okay? It credentials a location. So if you have a house here and a house here and a house here, this has an address, this has an address, this has an address, those would all have tildes in front of them because they're separate addresses. Does 329 have a different address than 534 or is a different location than 576? And what does that mean? That's a rhetorical question, by the way. The correct way to write this would have the R tied up against the colon with a tilde in between the colon and the R. And then if you're going to put hyphen, if you're going to make that a compound fact and have those be separate facts brought together, then they would be connected by hyphens. RF hyphen 329 hyphen 538 hyphen 576 hyphen US period. There would be no U period space hyphen S period, which is another mistake. And then, I mean, you have this, uh, a colon here, a huge space, and then a bracket, and then the bracket, and then neutral zone transport vessel, and then you have in italics, a colon, a space, do hyphen not hyphen stop, comma, space, do hyphen not hyphen detain, period. So all this adds up to tell me that, well, whoever put this together, learned from either Russell J. Gould or someone that Russell J. Gould taught because this is the way they write. It's what I like to call quantum gobbledygook. Geneva con Convention neutral, neutral Zone Transport Vehicle. Neutral Zone Transport Vessel. Vessel. So you see there? Everyone can make mistakes. Even someone, a police officer who is doing forensics at all times looking for what's wrong with the situation, made a mistake. Same thing with that placard on the back of the tailgate. Yeah. Sign of distress. Flag upside down is sign of distress. Yes, that's true. In some venues, that's what they think. Hey, boss, how you doing? Not too bad. Deputy the sheriff's office. I just got pulled over. Hey, so the reason why I'm stopping you, boss, I didn't recognize the tagging was on your vehicle. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Do you have your driver's license registration with you? Yeah, there you go. I got the paperwork right here. Where's the paperwork at, Michelle? Here. All right. Hold on a minute. What is going on here, folks? This man is driving this vehicle. So that means he's the captain of the vessel, the master of the vessel, supposedly. He's on the phone with someone asking the individual on the phone where his ship's papers are so he has no idea where his papers are his credentials the foundation of his biosphere this man doesn't know and he's on the phone this is interesting it's where yeah. it's on speaker yeah, it does. <clears throat> okay, where's your driver's license, boss? That's for me. No, I don't need my window down. I'm sorry. So, do you have a driver's license? Yeah, we're right there. Okay, there's what's your name, boss? There. I don't see your it's name right. on here. Can you point it to me? Yeah. Okay, this is interesting. Now, I, I don't know what this is. I know that it can't be a claim of the live life because there are only two thumbprints on here. And a claim of the live life would have to have at least three or more live life claimant thumbprints or fingerprints for certification and authorization. But I don't think that's what this is. I don't know what this is. The officer asked him if he had a driver's license, and then the guy said, it's right here. And so I guess this is some sort of license 
to drive or quantum gobbledygook equivalent of. Okay, that's not how this works. Where is your uh, driver's Here. name at? I'm just giving him the paperwork. No, he doesn't get to see any effing paperwork. Is this rich or what, folks? You got this dude sitting in this truck. No clue. I can tell right now that he, he has no idea what correct sentence structure is. No idea about flag mechanics, banking mechanics. No idea about postal mechanics. Because if you notice, on the plate and on the placard on the back of his truck, there's no stamp. There's no fee for freight on that. So he doesn't understand postal mechanics. And he's employing a logical fallacy appeal to authority by calling some woman on the phone, which I don't know who she is, if it's his wife or a friend or what it is. And she's like, he don't need no effing paperwork. This is, I mean, the officers must have, I mean, they must have just went to the bank of patients and made a huge withdrawal because they're being very, very kind at this point. Okay. Here, you talk to me, ma'am. Ma'am, if he refuses to identify himself in this traffic stop, it's going to be an issue. Uh-huh. A national? <clears throat> He's a national of the neutral power states? What in the Sam's Hill is that? As you know, how condescending. She's assuming that the officer knows this. <laughs> uh, I, it doesn't matter who he identifies as, he's operating a motor vehicle in the state of Florida, ma'am. What? R for you, Vip Felicia County Sheriff. R for you with Volusia County Sheriff. She's trying to speak using correct sentence structure or whatever her idea or comprehension of it is. The fact that she said R for you tells me she has no idea what the hell quantum grammar is. Number one. Because you would never use you, Y O U, as a fact. It's a non tangible condition of state. And the way she worded it, R for you. Anyways, long story short, why would anyone do this in this situation? The officer doesn't, is not on the same page as this woman and what she's saying, first of all. Doesn't understand what she's talking about with these federalist, national, whatever, neutral, whatever power. Doesn't know what that is. And on top of that, she starts speaking in some kind of quantum gobbledygook to muddy the waters even more, which is another logical fallacy, to muddy the waters. Like, is she trying, and this is just a guess, is she trying to sound smart? Or is she trying to make the officer feel stupid? Because all she's doing is making everything much, much worse. Yeah. Charlie 44, sir. 44, how far out is my second? Um, you're Charlie 49, 93, how far are you guys? No, I just want to check. Ma'am, so, this is, what, this is what's going on. Hold up. Did you hear that roar in the background? That sounded like an eight-cylinder, and I think I see a white Chrysler 300S right there, if I'm not mistaken, at that intersection. Anyways, sorry. The, the tag on his vehicle does not appear like it's, it's proper back to any state. So it appears the vehicle's unregistered. Then on top of that, I come up here, I'm asking for his identification documents, and he's handing me a stack of the papers instead of a driver's license. So I'm concerned he might be driving without a driver's license, and his vehicle might be unregistered. He signed a heart treaty? What in Sam's hell 
is a heart treaty. <laughs> what? Okay, where's your, what's your name, boss? Sir, what's your name? Right here. Can I see your name, please? Right here. Where? Right here. Please point to it. Right here. Where, where's, which, where's your name, sir? I don't right see there. it. Are you the postmaster? That's what yep. it says. Postmaster. Yes, I am the postmaster. Are, which, so is your first name Mark or your last name Mark? No. So nothing on here has right your name. There. Right there. Is your destiny first Mark? Name. Destry? Yep. Is that how I'm saying yep. it? And what's your last name, boss? I can't see it. Right there. Wagerman. Wagerman. What's your no. date of birth, sir? It's all right there. It's not I'm on not there. I'm not telling him anything. All right, well, this is the thing. If we cannot properly identify you, then it could be a potential issue for us coming up. <coughs> uh, well, that's fine. He doesn't necessarily have to talk to me, but he does have to obey my lawful commands. As you know. As you know. Oh, my gosh. The patience on this officer is amazing. Okay, folks, I'll stop right here and just say a couple things that could have easily uh, diffused this situation. Number one, the driver of the truck should know what the hell he's doing. He should have closure on grammar, have closure on postal mechanics, shipping mechanics, banking mechanics, flag mechanics, constitution of the flag he's carrying. He should know all these things and have it at the ready to fire him off in a very peaceful and neutral manner, in a very friendly, non-combative, non-defensive manner, in a manner that, if you will, um, a master of a vessel would do, someone that knows what they're doing. You can tell they're a master because they have knowledge, and so they have authority of what they're doing. And then that will cause the other contract party, who in this case is the officer, to start thinking, hmm, you know, they'll, they'll start maybe opening their mind to different concepts of what's going on. And it would probably have a more positive outcome. But that's not what's going on here. What's going on here is this guy has completely relieved himself of any authority. Even though he called himself a postmaster, I doubt he even knows what the hell that is. He's passed all the authority off to some phantom individual on a phone who's cussing and being condescending and just being generally unpleasant. Uh, on the other hand, on the flip side, on the flip side, what crime has this individual committed? And by crime, I mean, has he hurt anyone? Is he going to hurt anyone? Is he hurting someone right now? Is he causing damage right now somehow? <clears throat> the answer to all those questions is no. No. So what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is, folks, and everybody knows this, the fiction system is all about money. This is about money. If you don't have the proper credentials, that's just one more reason for them to give you a fine and you pay that fine. Or if you resist and get defensive like this, they can take you to prison or jail, I mean. And then you have court costs, court fees, attorneys, or however you're going to handle it. I don't know how the guy's going to handle it, but it's just you're paying money into the system. And that's what they're all about. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> Why would you even want to go there? Why wouldn't you know what you're doing before you do it? Know what you're doing before you do it. It's that easy. I keep leaving this cap on. Hey Murphy, why is he looking at my truck for? This is part of his job. Hey Murphy, can you just switch to me real fast? Who? <laughs> Lieutenant who? What? What? Lieutenant who? Lieutenant who? I think you mean trying to say Galarza. Yeah. All right, just hold on one here. I just gotta look at something real fast. Yeah. <coughs>
Looks like there's no registration. All right, sir. This is kind of where we're at. So I checked the. Uh... Yeah. Hang on, hang on, Michelle. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, Michelle. Michelle, hang STFU. On. So this is kind of where we're at. So I checked the VIN. The car is currently looks like it's unregistered. So if you don't have, do you have a Florida driver's license or a driver's license out of another state that I can check to ensure that you're a licensed driver? Right there is all I got. Okay. Right well, there's the problem. So I tried to search you up under this. I can't find anybody, you know, I can't find you. So if I can't verify that you you have a valid driver's license, then how am I supposed to let you drive off? He's coming. Uh, that's not going to that's not going to change anything. He's saying I got to have a valid driver's license. To which, top you know. rated motor vehicle in the state of Florida, <coughs> yes sir. Okay, you're at uh, Catalina and Howard. Yeah. Okay, sir. It's a it's a simple question. Do you have a valid driver's license? Right there is all my paperwork I got. Okay. He's coming. What was that? Her pulling in? Did you hear that? Well, it's because he's got it right here. He's got the paperwork in his hand. Is your ID through Florida? What state is it from? Okay, that looks like it might be some sort of live life claim. I haven't seen the recent, most recent, Quantum Gong Bleak Gook. Uh, Colin Russell Haven G. Colin Gould authorized live life claim. So I don't know if this guy paid money to get one of those or not. I'm right here. If I could see the bottom what of it, I could from? tell you. That's fine. What state is your ID from? I don't have an ID. I was surrendering my ID and my birth certificate and everything. When you used to have an ID, what state was it from? Um, Colorado. Colorado? Yeah. Okay. But what's your. Don't. What's that? It, don't, it, don't, it won't register because it, it, it's fine. Here she is. Right That's fine. I, I don't need her actually, and she's not going to come over here. Um, what is your date of birth? You hope she doesn't. <laughs> no, it's not everything is right here. <clears throat> okay. Does that make sense? She not at all. all this. I know. Destry, hop on out. The guy's passing the buck. Has no idea. No idea. I'm not. Why? Why do I need to get out of my car? Have I done something wrong? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Before you drag me out of the car, what have I done? Hop out of the car. Have I done something wrong? You're failing to re you're failing to identify yourself? I, uh, that's not a that's not a law. That's not a misdemeanor. It's not a law. Hey, uh, don't get in my car. What are you guys doing? Watch this. They're jerking me out of the fucking car, but Get out. They're getting me out of the get car. Out. All right, all right, I'm getting out. All right, I'm getting out. Pulling away I'm from getting me. out. You guys are jerking me Here's one thing that I will never... Okay, let me rephrase that. This is a common scenario where nothing violent has happened. No violence. No one's been hurt. No one's being harmed. Nothing. But then the police turn it into a violent situation. They bring the violence to the situation. And they drag the guy out of the vehicle. What is your automatic reaction if someone were to just grab you on the street, a stranger, just grab you and start pulling, what, what is your reaction? Your knee-jerk reaction is to pull away. Maybe even hit him. Fight back. That's the automatic reaction. Nobody. I can't think of one person that would just go limp and let the police. And even then, if you go limp and you don't resist, they'll still say you're resisting because you went limp. And you weren't trying to assist them in their assault of you. It just doesn't make any sense. It's, it's built in their favor. Let's put it that way. So why even let it get to that point? Why even let it get to this point? This didn't have to happen if that guy would have had the knowledge that he needed to have to navigate with the flag that he's navigating with. But he doesn't have the knowledge. He doesn't have closure on the grammar or anything. And this is what happens. I keep telling people, you got to have closure on the grammar before you do this stuff. And he, I mean... <laughs> you guys are jerking me around. Look, I got you. All right. I'm not jerking around. Okay. Now you're under arrest. Damn. Damn. We're not doing anything. What's the place? Not to spell my show my ID is not a federal offense. You tell me. Not an ID state. Separate your feet, boss. 
It's not an ID to stay here. And I don't, I don't go for 30 seats. Stop bucking on me, please. It's not registered. Stay out of my wallet. No. It's not. Stay out of my wallet. Everything's coming out your pocket. No, no. Hey, you switch sides, man. I don't, I don't accept you might not accept it, but no, it doesn't no, mean no. it's not happening. You guys are legally fucking searching me for no fucking reason at all. None. None. Stop yelling. Honor, integrity, service. None of those things are happening right now. <laughs> Oh, there's the lady. Okay. There's the lady that was on yeah. the phone. Do you want to talk to him or not? If not, we're going to get him out of here. We're trying to give you the keys. Hey, what? Hey, watch your back. I have his phone number for him. Unlock this door now. No, I'm not going to unlock. You. Get out. We break it? Open the door. No. Yes, so. Now get out. Wow. Get out. Get out of the car. She was faced towards the window. Glass could have gotten her eye. I saw a lot of people in the comments of this video uh, congratulating and patting them on the back for doing all this, but that's actually dangerous and reckless and completely unnecessary. Oh, shit, stop it. And the truck, oh my God. This is a shit show from A to B to Z, man. A shit show. Only in Florida, folks. Only in Florida. Well, maybe not only in Florida, but you know. I'm not looking in because. She's laughing. We have another 1015. Do we have a lot to do? Now she's trying to quote U.S. codes. Oh, he got a boo-boo. Did anybody else cover in blood? Goofy. I don't know. Completely unnecessary. Well, there you have it, folks. That's, uh, that's the long and short of it. I mean, as I was saying in the video, none of that was necessary. Um, if the guy would have had closure on correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, if he would have closure on the flag he was flying, paid the fee for freight, known what a postmaster is, the grammar mechanics, banking mechanics, postal mechanics, flag mechanics, all those things, and he would have had that on the tip of his tongue to be able to give closure, share closure of those things in a calm and peaceful manner. I think things would have gone a lot different, a lot different, but he didn't. He had no clue at all. Matter of fact, first thing he did was get on the phone and call somebody else. And then that person came and they both got thrown in jail. So there you go. Moral of the story. Know what you're doing before you go out there and try and do it or things might turn out, might not turn out quite like you think they will. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one.